Don't let the wish grow cold. I feel strange. <sighs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first animated movie from Walt Disney Animation Studios, changed the way movies were made when it came out in 1937. It was like falling in love for the first time, or going on a first date. Thanks to the genius of Disney's nine old men, the movie went on to set the standard for animation with its new ideas and iconic hand-drawn 2D style. Not only that, but the movie also started the studio's golden age and took the Disney brand to a whole new level. She's an old witch. I'm warning you. Putting them on the road to greater success that has only grown over the years and up to the present day. Many people know the story of Snow White, which is a classic that came from another classic. This is especially true since the characters has been in a lot of Disney-related media. But since remakes are still popular and the big company is starting a new era of live-action versions of their animated movies, Snow White gives us more chances to see the first Disney princess story from the fresher point of view of Hollywood's top actors. The work on the movie has been going on for a long time, at least since 2016. Because Snow White is such a big production, there have been a lot of updates that have been in the news. Each one has gotten a lot of attention. So to make things easier and keep you up to date, here's each one. Snow White is one of the many wonderful fairy tales that the legendary Grimm brothers wrote. Even if some people don't agree, such a wonderful story should be told from generations to generation. Oh, you must be grumpy. <laughs> yeah. When morals are low, we shouldn't pass up any chance to share wonder and hope with the world. And that includes a movie about a young woman with the biggest heart. But one thing that needs to be made clear, this live action version will use a more modern style, even though it doesn't have a plot yet. Even so, this shouldn't be too much of a surprise, since the old story has been retold in modern movies in the US, such as Mirror Mirror, which had an active main character in great costumes, and Snow White and the Huntsman, which had a warrior princess, as well as beautifully designed costumes. So, in the same way, Snow White will no longer be betrayed as the overly submissive fairest one of all, which has to take her wicked, vain stepmother's anger with a straight face. No, as the woman who was cast as the lead said, this version is about a young woman who has a purpose beyond someday my prince will come, which is an old-fashioned idea about what women should do. But don't worry, not all of them are changed. If they were, the story wouldn't be about Snow White. The key parts of the story, like the cottage in the woods, the magic mirror, and of course, the poisoned apple have been confirmed to be in the movie thanks to the 30-second first look teaser that was shown at the 2022 D23 Expo last September. Now, we have talked about how things look, and we'll move on to the other important part, the cast. The cast, who has been talked about more clearly and criticized more than the plot, which is a shame. Rachel Zegler, who is 21 years old and got her big break as Maria in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, will be proud to play Snow White. As soon as the news came out, the internet went crazy, most people asking why a person of Latino descent was chosen to play the beloved princess. However, Rachel responded tastefully in all her grace, saying, It's a tremendous honor and she's excited to accept and that she'll channel the negativity into positive means instead. On a related note, the incorporation of the other integral characters, the Seven Dwarves, was called out by Peter Dinklage, who has a form of dwarfism. He opinionated that it's a backwards move to feature seven dwarves living in a cave together for it would be, in a way, an insensitive portrayal that would offend people with dwarfism. Disney then made it clear they won't repeat the stereotypes from the first animated movie by giving the seven characters a new direction and talking to people in the dwarfism community. That being said, only the role of one dwarf has been announced. Grumpy, set to be performed by Martin Kleba. Gal Gadot, who can do many things, will sing and dance as the evil queen. Andrew Burnap will play the male lead, a man named Jonathan who is the prince's equal. Dujana Gift will play a character named Maple and Colin Michael Carmichael's part hasn't been revealed yet. Snow White, Willow, in theaters on March 22, 2024.
for if everything goes as planned. Mark Webb is in charge of directing Snow White. He's known for his work on The Amazing Spider-Man and its sequel. Greta Gerwig and Aaron Christina Wilson are both good writers and seem to be in charge of writing the screenplay. Also, like the original story, Snow White and the Seven Doors, the movie will be a musical. Benji and Justin are two talented songwriters and will remake the original songs and write new ones. The new movie was supposed to start filming in March 2020, but as we all know, the COVID-19 outbreak put a stop to everything, including the making of Snow White. The principal photography officially commenced on March 9th last year, yet even that hit another snag as the set caught on fire the following week and the flames were massive. The Sun said that the videos and photos of the fire made their way to social media, giving us a clear look at a big fire next to a cottage that looks like it belongs in Snow White. According to witnesses in the footage, a witness had remarked that a tree had caught on fire and they didn't know how. Before the full extent of the damage was known, it could be horrifying to watch with large flames and black smoke overtaking the set. The witnesses reported that all the crew members were able to escape the area safely and nobody was harmed in the incident, though it probably gave them many a good fright. One witness told The Sun that the set made up of a lot of wooden trees was currently being built in the Richard Attenborough stage. They reported that a piece of the set had caught a light and spread across the rest of the set. According to the witness, some crew in the studio were shaken but evacuated without injury. Another witness reported that it was just mental and they didn't see it start but they were told that first a tree went up. By the time they got there, the flames were massive, going right up to the ceiling. Then bits of the set started falling into flames and the thatched cottage started lighting up. The movie business has done this before. There have been two other fires on movie sets at Pinewood. One happened on the set of Ridley Scott's 1984 film Legend and the other happened on a set of Daniel Craig's first James Bond movie Casino Royale in 2006. There were problems with this project even before the camera started rolling. Some people didn't like how Rachel was cast as a main character Snow White because Snow White has never been shown to be a Latina before. Peter, who is in Game of Thrones, also said some negative things about the movie. He criticized Disney for putting a Latina actress in the role of Snow White while he said the dwarf character still reinforced negative stereotypes. I was surprised when they were so proud to hire a Latina actress to play Snow White, Dinklage said this on the WTF podcast by Mark Marone. You keep talking about Snow White and the Seven Doors. Step back and take a look at what you're doing. I don't understand why. You're progressive in some ways, but you still tell that stupid story about seven dwarves living together in a cave. What the F are you doing, man? Have my words done nothing to move the cause forward? I don't think I'm being loud enough. Since then, it's been said that Disney might use magical creatures instead of dwarves, but it's still not clear what'll happen to Snow White's seven friends. Even though the progress hasn't been easy, it's clear that the remake has a lot of exciting things in store. Even though 2024 seems far away like the princess when sang, some people may find love again when spring comes. The birds will sing and before you know it, so will the new Snow White. That's everything we know about the upcoming Snow White movie set to be released in 2024. With a talented cast and crew behind the scenes, we expect a visually stunning and captivating retelling of the classic fairy tale. Will it live up to your expectations? Only time will tell. Be sure to stay tuned for updates as we get closer to the release date. Thanks for watching. Sure I'll get along somehow. Everything's going to be alright.